Okay, this is painting one, project one, in which we make a grayscale. And we're going to use this grayscale throughout the semester, so it needs to be made methodically and carefully in order to get an even distribution of light to dark from white to black. And once we have those color or values mixed, and value means lightness or darkness, so it has nothing to do with chroma or color. So once we have those values mixed, we're going to apply them to this little canvas that I've already drawn off a little scale on the side of it. And it's going to have 11 steps, including white and black. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to mix the colors. So I have a palette here, and I have my glass jar full of mineral spirits, and I have it filled up to the top so that when I dip my palette knife into it, I don't have to worry about hitting any of the edges, therefore keeping the mineral spirits clean. So I'm going to start by mixing middle gray. So I'm going to take some white, and I'm going to get it wet with the mineral spirits. so that it mixes easily, get it wet, thin it down, sort of to the consistency of something a little firmer than honey. And I'm using titanium white, and I'm going to get quite a bit of it wet, and I'm going to mix the black into the white. The black is much stronger than white, so it will have a major effect on the, the amount of darkness that occurs immediately. So the black going into white, and what I'm aiming for at this point is middle gray. So it's going to take a good deal of black, and I'm going to know when I have middle gray by holding it up between the black and the white. and blurring my eyes. So I'm going to narrow my eyes, blur my vision, and then I'll be able to more accurately see if I've found the middle spot between the two. Okay, so at this point I'm still too close to the white than I am to the black, so I'm going to add more black. Something that stays right in the middle between black and white. Not too close to white, not too close to black, right in the middle. So I think I've got something about right. Okay, so I'm going to use this now as the middle gray, and I'm going to mix four steps on either side of it between white and between black. So I'm going to have four steps that lead up to black, and I'm going to have four steps that lead to white. So I'm going to divide that pile into two halves. I need to set aside a little bit of that for that color. So that's going to be middle gray. I'll set it out here. Okay, so now I'm going to take one half of that pile, and I'm going to add a little black to it. Okay, I need to see a step, so I need to see a difference, because I only have four steps, and I'm going to be getting to pure black. So I need four steps in between here and here. So I'm going to save a little bit of this, but that's going to not be dark enough. Let me make it just a little darker. Save it a little bit of that. Okay. okay. Now I need two more steps. So I'm going to take some of this out of the equation. So I don't make a huge pile of paint. I'm just going to cut it a little bit so it doesn't take so much black to show up and make a difference. And I just continue to mix these and adjust these until I start to get an even progression from white to black. And the trickiest part is making that step near black. 
because, and the step near white because this is the one that needs to be, well, they're all difficult, but it needs to be carefully calibrated. Okay, those four steps look pretty even, pretty progressive. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I get rid of the paint that I've got on my palette knife. I'm going to go back and I'm going to take that middle gray that I had before and I'm going to start lightening it. So I'm going to save a little extra out in case I overdo it. I'm going to lighten it. Let me get a little spot of white out here so I have something to shoot for. Okay. Okay. Now I need four steps this side of the middle gray. Okay. okay, for the final step, the one that's right next to white, I'm just taking a little bit of that gray and adding a bunch of white back into it. So I can make the first step as carefully as possible so it doesn't jump radically from pure white to gray. And that's going to be the first step. Okay, so to check these, I'm just going to take a piece of white board or a piece of paper would be fine and I'm going to make a little spot a color on here before I paint the final version. Make a little spot of black. And I'm using the palette knife to paint this with just because it's so much easier to work with real fast and clean instead of brushes. So. This is middle gray. Okay, so I have this scale thus far, and you can see maybe from the camera that these two are too close in color. So I'm going to go back and make this one lighter, and I think this one would be okay, but I could probably lighten, could probably lighten all three of these just a little bit and spread them out a little bit more. Okay, these are looking good. The light end is looking pretty close to right. The dark end is going to still need a little bit of adjustment. Mm 